Hi, this is Diane Love to Bake, and what we're going to make are probably the easiest peanut butter cookies, well, that I've ever made. And in particular, this re uh, recipe uh, has no flour in it. So for folks out there that want a cookie with no flour, this is the cookie for you. So let's get started. First, you're going to start off with one cup of peanut butter, and I am using a creamy uh, peanut butter. You can use whatever brand that, uh, that you prefer. And I'm just going to be using my hand mixer for these cookies. If you um, don't have a hand mixer, feel free to use your stand-up, of course. So it's one cup of peanut butter. I want to get that all out as much as possible here. And I'm going to grab a spatula quickly. Okay, and the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to put in one cup of granulated sugar to your one cup of peanut butter. And then um, I'm just going to start bringing this all together, the peanut butter and the granulated sugar. And I'm going to just do that on medium high. Of that peanut butter down there. And just make sure that it's combined well. Okay, and it'll look like that. Alrighty. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put one egg in, and I've had it at room temperature. And then beat that egg in real well. I'm on high right now, high speed. And the next thing you're going to be needing is vanilla. So one teaspoon of vanilla till it's all combined. And that shouldn't take you very long at all to combine it. Now once you do that, off my beaters there, put that aside, and then I'm just going to bring it all together, clean up the sides and get to that bottom of my bowl, and as you do that, you'll have a nice cookie mound, the cookie dough, okay? Now you're going to need, of course, a uh, cookie pan. You can use parchment paper, of course, if you like. Uh, today I just basically just lightly sprayed my uh, my pan and you can use a tablespoon just to give yourself about um, a round ball about the size of a golf ball round it in your hand like that and then you'll just place it on your tray they are going to spread a little bit so you know put them at least an inch apart that kind of thing if you don't want to use um, a spoon, then you go ahead and use your cookie scoop. It's a small one. And um, just lay that on your, on your tray. And then uh, traditionally, uh, we use a, uh, the fork. And what you're going to do is you're just going to press down on the cookie, one side and then to the other like that to form the shape of a traditional peanut butter cookie. Now you can leave them and bake them just like that. I like to put some colored jimmies on the top of them or you can use coarse sugar, colored sugars. You can even, um, if you'd like to put some chocolate chips on the top of them, that type of thing. Uh, it really is endless what you can do with these cookies. Now I generally get about 24 cookies. You're going to bake them at 325 degrees and they're going to take you anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes. As we know all of them set up so differently. Um, and I want to show you what they do look like once they're finished. And here they are. I have just the traditional ones with the, um, you know, with the sugar on top. They bake up to a nice uh, golden brown on the bottom. You do want to bake them till they become a golden brown. 
Then I have uh, the ones that I just put the colored jimmies on them or confettis. You can put colored dots on them or whatever. And I'm going to break um, open the cookie, hopefully to show you. It has a nice crisp break to it. On the inside, it is a crispy cookie. Uh, and uh, just the flavor and just the smell of the peanut butter as you're baking it in the oven. Your, your kitchen just smells, well, it sound, smells <laughs> fantastic. So there you have it. Probably the easiest peanut butter cookie recipe, well, that you, you'll ever make or that I've made. Well, that's it for me for today. I want to thank you for watching. Diane loved to bake. And if you try this recipe, well, leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you. And as always, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon.